Hello, what's up? YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I in this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily create snoot effects in Photoshop. So you can see this kind of effect in Photoshop, and we are just going to be using these two images. And if I told you you'd love to download these snoot effects, I'm going to also link or put a link in the description of this video so that you can download and you get to use these on your photos. So check the links in the description of this video. So you can see this is the effect that we have for this kind of image. And I'm just going to come and I delete the snoot effect right here. So I'll just come and I simply delete that layer that is containing the snoot effect. So before you proceed, always make sure to select the subject. So just come right here to the quick selection tools right here and make sure you have selected that tool. Then after doing that, just come right here to select and simply come to subject and photoshop is going to automatically select the subject for you and if at all you don't have this option you can as well use the pen tool to select the subject so i feel like i want to also select these props or these boxes right here so i'll, I'll simply get the plus icon selected right here and i'll just come and i select these boxes too so right now i'm done selecting these boxes so make sure you have selected everything and if at all you want to eliminate or delete a selection come and make sure you select the subtract icon and you can as well subtract a selection from uh, the image so after doing that we just want to copy this selection and paste it on a new layer so press ctrl c on the keyboard or you can use command c for mac to copy this selection then press command v or you can use ctrl v to paste it on a new layer you can see our selection is now on a new layer and after doing that simply come to the background layer right here and after selecting the background layer you're going to come to our snoots effects right here and with that done you're just going to come to the rectangular marquee tool here and select it so come and select the rectangular marquee tool so you can choose whichever effect that you want to use for your image so i'll just come and I draw just like that. So left click and you draw over the effect that you want. So I'll just choose this for this image. So draw like that and you select that effect. And after doing that, simply copy the selection by pressing Ctrl C or you can use Command C on the keyboard. Copy that and you come back to your image right here with the background layer selected. Simply press Ctrl V or you can use Command V to paste it right there and after pasting it simply first of all right click on this new layer and come and convert it to a smart object and after converting it to a smart object you can use command t or you can use ctrl t on the keyboard to resize the effect hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can use the alternate key on the keyboard and simply drag the corner to resize so I just resize this just like that and I'll just take that up right there. So you can simply resize it whatever way you want. And after doing that you can use enter on the keyboard or you can simply click on this tick right there to place that effect. So just come the blend mode and simply change it from normal and just come and change it to screen and it's going to hide the effect just like that. So this is the effect that we have right now but this is looking a little bit too much so we are going to come to filter blur and come down to gaussian blur so just come and reduce on the effect by taking up the radius so that it can look as natural as possible so at around i'm just going to be using 3.9 is okay and hit okay so if at all you want to add any other color to your snoot just with the snoot layer selected just come the adjustments right here and simply select the hue and saturation adjustment layer and click on this clipping mask right here so you left click on it so that the effect is going to affect only the snoot effect that we have created on the background layer so just come right here and simply select colorize and you can notice that the snoot effect is going to appear to have that kind of color behind so just come right here and 
take up the saturation if at all you want the intensity of the snow to be too much or the color to be too much and you can play around with the colors just right there in order to have or achieve a given color depending on your liking so i prefer this kind of color is fine and after doing that you can just come the opacity and select this node layer and simply drop down the opacity so it can look a little bit natural and if at all you don't like it you can simply with this new player selected press ctrl t or you can use command t on the keyboard and you can resize it to the one of your liking so just come and resize it just like that to the one of your liking so I'll just make it slightly or a little bit smaller and simply hit enter and you can see that we have now created that kind of snoot effect for our kind of image. So let's do that once again on the second image. So we're just going to come to the second image and simply delete this effect. And we learn and understand how to create it once again. So just come to the image right here and get the quick selection tool. Make sure it is selected. Just come to select once again and come to select subject. And Photoshop is going to automatically select the subject for us. I selected the subject, but if I told you want the, everything to be better, make sure you select even the props or whatever the model is sitting on so that the snoot effect can appear on the background. So you can also zoom in and make sure you refine the selection by using the add selection tool right here. So the one with the plus icon right above here, just come and click and include everything in your selection. So take your time as you're doing this because we want a very fine and defined selection and if i told you want to, to subtract a selection get the minus tool and simply subtract the selection just like that and come and add another selection once again so just keep on perfecting and refining your selections if at all you want the best out of this kind of effect so right now we have selected the subject and whatever she is sitting on. So after doing that, simply copy the selection of the subject by pressing Ctrl C or you can use Command C to copy and press Command V or you can use Ctrl V to paste it on a new layer and select the background layer once again. Come to the snoot effects right here and simply get the rectangular marquee tool right here. And we are going to choose another effect so for this we are just going to simply come and use this effect so left click and draw over the snoot effect to select it and simply copy it by pressing ctrl v ctrl c to copy ctrl c or you can use command c for mark then come once again to your photo and press command v or you can use ctrl v to paste the effect just right there and after doing that you can now resize the effect by pressing command T or control T and you can resize the effect so hold down the option key or the alternate key and you resize it so I just want it to be right there and move it somewhere above there I think uh, this is okay. So I'll just enlarge it a little bit and move it a little bit towards this side. And after doing that, just come and hit enter right there. And after we have done that, you're just going to come to the brain mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to screen right there. And now right click and convert it to a smart object right there. Then come to filter blur and come to Gaussian blur right there and we just want to make it as natural as possible so that it is not sharp because the snoot effect is always at a distance so we are going to use a radius of around 4.8 is fine and hit ok so we just want to add a little bit of color to the snoot effect that we have just created just come to the hue and saturation adjustment layer right here and you have created the hue and saturation adjustment layer on top of this node layer right here. So just come and select colorize. 
and make sure you turn on the clipping mask so that the effect can affect only the snout layer so after doing that just come to the saturation and simply take up the saturation just like that so that you can see or add color to that and simply come and change that color to the one of your liking so i feel like uh, this color is fair and it is okay so i just go with this color because it pops and just come the opacity after selecting this new layer and take down the opacity so that it can look natural or as natural as possible so this is our before and after for this note effect so i'll put these two in a group command and click on both press ctrl g and you can see this is a before after before after so this is how you can easily create snort effects within photoshop and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i've seen yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating